It's magic at your door day. Stick around and let's see what I got. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Danita and I do mostly Disney unboxings with some hauls and some fashion boxes thrown in. And today we have what is so far my favorite Disney subscription box, Magic at Your Door. Last month when I got my first box, they just blew it out of the water. It was perfect. It was like Mike in 001 came into my house and said, she wants that, 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 and that. So can they keep it up? I don't know. Let's see. And look. This month, they sent it to Absolutely Fabulous. I love it. Mike is fantastic. 001 is fantastic. I don't know, Jaden, but she looks fantastic and it looks like she had a great time at Star Wars. If you're not already a member of their Facebook, bah, bah, bah. if you're not already a member of their Facebook group, you need to join it. It is great. On that group, you get to see different things that you can um, choose. And when I say choose, you can say, hey, I'd really like that. And then you might get it, you might not. It is a mystery box. So this month I actually put a couple of things in that I would like and see if I got them, see what they've done. I'm ready to open it. So this subscription box is $99 a month. That includes um, the shipping and it is refundable if if it's a bad box. I've not seen a bad box. I've seen boxes that aren't to my taste, but these are fully customizable. So you're putting in what your taste is. So if you get one that's totally not your taste, you probably didn't fill it in very well. That doesn't mean every item is gonna be perfect, but last month it was. So to give props to the box, this month, dude, this guy's name is Dude, is Rafiki, and he's carrying little Simba in honor of Lion King coming out. And there was um, supposed to be this, this really cool Lion King thing that was gonna come out in the box if you were a Lion King fan, which I'm not sure that I have Lion King on my, my preferences. But it came in kind of late, but we still got Dude. So when you open the box, the first thing that you always get is this little sheet. I say always, but there's never such thing as always. But the first thing you should get is this little sheet. And it's color coded because Disney doesn't put prices on everything. And this lets you kind of tell the prices to make sure that you're getting your value. I'm just gonna drop it over here because I still don't have a table. Okay, Mike, 001, I don't understand. I don't understand. Am I gonna cry? Maybe I'm gonna cry. Did anybody else get tissue on the top of their box? <laughs> the box has all these foozles and they're, they're gray and white and yellow. They're really pretty. They match the top of the box. They're really messy. They're gonna end up on the floor in just a minute where my cat is gonna play with them um, when she gets out of lockdown. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I know you don't know this because I haven't shown everybody yet, but I just got a new car. I got a 2017 Volkswagen VW convertible. This is a me car. This is like my dream car. And I love to go around town in my convertible. Dennis, he's okay with it. I love it. Well, today I went out in it and it was hot, but I was not, it, See, it wasn't even hot. It was like 70 degrees, but the sun was, was beating on my face and I was like, man, I really wish I had a hat. I don't have a hat. Dennis hadn't left one in the car. I have a hat. It says late for everything, which by the way is not me. I am, if I am not there 15 minutes early, I am panicked. I do not like to be late, but all of my kids are late for everything. They're not getting the hat though. Look at that. I gotta put the box down because I, I don't have a table. Check it out. It has the white rabbit. Okay. I'm sorry, Figment. I love you. But I've got to try on my new hat. 
I don't know that I look good in hats. It doesn't matter. I'm going to wear it in the convertible. What do you think? I love it. Okay. I'm not going to wear it in the video because I do think it kind of will hide my face. I guess my face needs to be visible. But this hat's retail price was $27.99. And I love this hat. I really think sometimes they have a crystal ball over there. Okay, still don't know about these tissues, so let's just... <gasps> okay, I saw this in somebody else's box and I wanted it so bad. You know, my husband's from England. We lived in England for um, seven years, a little bit more, in two different time frames. And I love this. This is so me. I'm not even sure what you're supposed to put in it. I don't really care what you're supposed to put in it because chances are I'm gonna put it on display. The price for it is $19.99. I love this. Check them out, the little bee feeder, the telephone box. That was one of the first things I did when we went to England was um, take pictures in the telephone box. I'll have to find those at some point. Okay, I'm gonna have to drop this down here a minute. Oh, I love this bag. It's got all the different parks on it. This'll be a great bag for our trip. And the good thing about this is because it's not distinctly feminine like most of my lounge fly, my boys can wear it, my husband can wear it. This was $24.99, my gosh. My value is great this time, and there's something in it. Foozles. Foozles. Okay, this was one of the items that I requested for my husband. And of course he's not here, so I'm just gonna open it for him. But check out this shirt. It's Star Wars got Galaxy's Edge, and it'll be perfect for our trip, or just to wear. He loves t-shirts, and I love this. He loves Star Wars. If you haven't seen it, he unboxed some Star Wars um, pins recently. So this shirt retails for $34.99. If I'm gonna cry because the um, value was so good. Right now I'm just too happy. There's something else in here. Okay. It's not in there, but you can feel it. Oh, it's my silver pouch. So these magic silver pouches always have, in my words, the piece de resistance. Um, that's what he was talking about for this month. Okay, this was something else that I requested. So when I worked for Disney, our kitchen was all done in Disney and it was the red and yellow and black. And I've kind of, my tastes have changed, so I don't really want that. This is my taste. It's beautiful and it's simple and it would go with anything. Like right now we have these blue curtains up. I love these blue curtains, but it could be red next month. You never know with me. And this would just go. So I love these and I don't see a price on them, but I think I saw these on the Disney Store website recently and they were like $20. So that's fantastic. And I think that should be everything. And just make, no, oh, that's not everything. <laughs> I love postcards. If you saw my video a few days ago when I ordered my figment box, um, I got a few postcards. When I turned around and look, I was like, I don't think it's this one. It's not this one. I am so excited because this is gorgeous. <sighs> look at it. The fireworks going off. I'm guessing that's illuminations before illuminations went away. And there's Tinkerbell with him. It's called Figment by Joey Chu. So the some of the ones I got the other day was by um, Joey Chu, but it's not the same. So now I have this great collection going 
And you know, last month he got me the Thomas Kincaid piece. Mike, 001, Jaden, our little CEO, you guys have blown it out of the park again. I love this box. I just um, cannot recommend this box enough. If you like this box, please check them out. I will link them below. I will link their Facebook group below. Um, it's a very fun face group and they're very interactive. And Mike, he's, he's obviously from, from the North. So he has that kind of a uh, sense of humor that's kind of dry, kind of like my husband's British sense of humor. He has that, that kind of dry, sarcastic sense of humor, and I love it because my dad is from the North, my um, husband's from England, I'm from the South, and in the South, you don't always understand it. So, warning you going in, he's hilarious, but watch some British comedy first because you will so get it then. So I didn't cry but I probably could. You guys did a great job. So thank you for making my day again. And until next time, have an absolutely fabulous day. Bye-bye.